The tornado touched down in the Briarcliff community, south of Six Mile Cypress and east of Michael G. Rip Parkway. NBC2's Gage Golding is there live as people clean up from downed trees, broken glass, and blown out pool cages. Gage. All of the above, that's what we've seen out here today. And some of these trees are still standing, but bent over two of these rather large palm trees, uh, clearly not standing upright anymore. And as we come over here, this one is actually uh, blown right from the ground. I've been saying this, it looks like Mother Nature gently put it on the ground, but these are things that shouldn't even be out here. This is part of the shingles from the home. I mean, way back there, we found this just thrown around in the yard. And what's even more incredible, if you can guess what this is, it's part of an arm of a chair that was in the backyard of this home and was found, the owner here says, more than a football field away. Just shows the power uh, of this storm and what we're dealing with. As we pull up some video that we shot just a couple of minutes ago, you can see the damage uh, to the shingles. The owner here, Scott Mackey, was up on the roof actually nailing down the shingles that were remaining. His pool cage, uh, a total loss. Hear from him uh, and what he said this morning. We're in the flight path for RSW, so occasionally you hear the, the planes early in the morning. And I thought, boy, that one sounded awfully close. It was crazy for five or ten minutes. We came out and could not believe it. Uh, it was unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable is what it is, and uh, the cleanup is going to be continuing going on. And just kind of one uh, other reminder of what we're dealing with right here is just the destruction. I mean, pieces like this obviously still have to be taken down in addition to the big trees that are already laid down. So the work here in the Briarcliff community, we are just getting started. Back to you.